Peace. I'm Rami Salam El. I thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to be reading from the Morse literature. You can pick it up at rvbaypublications.com. Scroll down to the product section. Find it there. Couple bucks. Excuse me. Couple Federal Reserve notes. Uh, but I'm going to be reading today the excerpt entitled Savior of Humanity. If I can find it. Here we are. <clears throat> In this electrified age, men are racing into this life without complete knowledge of where they are going or what the end will be. When riches seem to be their only pursuit, to be obtained any way and at any cost. When selfishness, avarice, greed, and lust dominate their very being. When humanity, in general, is left at the mercy of those who have no mercy in them. It is truly wonderful and astounding to see one come into this mad human drama for the sole purpose of saving humanity. Losing all sight on those things worldly and yielding absolutely to a cause higher than has ever yet been attained. This picture is the likeness of Prophet Noble Joali, who is serving humanity, coming as he does with a message for the nations in somewhat the same manner as did Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, and other prophets of their day. Only the teachings of this prophet's day differ from the ills of the days of the past. And yet the remedy for the ills of today is about the same as the remedies for the days past. All turning about the pivot love. Love for humanity. Humanity must be lifted from the unwholesome depths of poverty, misery, and suffering and placed on the solid rock of salvation. There are some who claim to do this but upon investigation, one finds that they have slouched under the wings of their cross to extract from those who come to them means by which they can have the pleasures of this life while they point their followers to joy after death. While they feed their sheep, they also shear them while eating. At the close of their day, the master will be heard to them, the master will be heard to tell them you have your reward. Get thee hints. Rare is it that you find a real pro rare is it that you find a real prophet whose mission is the salvation of the nations. The land is full of false prophets whose mission is to fleece the people. Shout out many of the so called black leaders. Sup Al? Sup Jesse? The time, the time was, and now is, that there should come into the land a prophet in the likeness of his brothers, to redeem them from sin and slavery. Truly, this prophet noble Juali is the man, bringing with him the message of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, which alone can save the nations. Like the coming of Jesus, he does not come from the elect, nor the rich, nor the mighty in worldly power. But all power is given unto him to do good. This power is from Allah. It will be his works that will make men of every nation accept the truth that he brings. It will be through his teachings that the nations of the earth will understand the will of the master. It will be through him that peace on earth and goodwill to all men shall come. It will be through his work that humanity will be brought from the slime of life and placed on the solid rock of salvation. Islam and peace to Nobu Ali, our universal prophet.